At a certain point, I stopped producing art because I thought that, you know, there is no need for me to just make paintings for the pleasure of making paintings, to decorate the walls of collectors, to satisfy the museum, to uh, satisfy my need of making art, because otherwise I cannot live. Ridiculous, no, no. Art is about giving new definition about art. I do not enjoy at all making works. Working on art, it's terrible for me. I just don't like it. What I like is to have a concept, is to have an idea and think, oh my God, mm, 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 I want to do that. So I did it. I introduced rationality as much as possible, the use of language, mathematical language, and I went as far as possible. I was not uh, sure about uh, if it was going to be interesting or not. Where was I going? I didn't know because nobody ever went into that direction. But I thought that it's better to leave the risk, the experience, not to walk with all the others and to just by myself and see where I'm going to go. When I started to make my mathematical paintings in 1966, I was not even sure it was going to be valid to be accepted. My artist friends of my generation came and they thought that I was going crazy. They said, you know, it's not art, it's mathematics. You see, there is nothing more abstract than a mathematical diagram. It's more abstract than a painting by Rothko. My work today is liberated from all that. I'm not going to copy the art of the past to justify the fact that I'm doing art, that I'm an artist. It's the concept that counts, not the visual, physical aspect. Art is a field of knowledge which is constantly on the move, just like mathematics and physics. If art was not always on the move, it would die immediately. All my work is uh, coming from the use of lines in general. Very simple. There are some straight lines, then there are some curves, then we have the angles. Okay, so which is a broken line. So straight line, curved line, broken line. Some people think that sculpture is uh, something that is finite. There is a definitive uh, configuration at the end. It has a shape and this is how it's going to be forever. It's only when I started to do the accident pieces, you know, that I started to see the richness of the possibilities again. I come with my forklift, I push and I get the result. This is precisely a sculpture. We can call it a performance if you want because there were people around watching me, but in reality, I was just making a sculpture. I have concepts that drive all my activity. You see, I talk about disorder. I talk about instability, antagonism, entropy, disorganization, disintegration, transition, the unexpected. I do not control the work. This is what interests me, the fight between the steel and me. The sculpture is the result of the process. What you see is how it was done. The parameters that define what art is today have nothing to do with the parameters of the past and nothing to do with the parameters of the future. I mean, we know what it has been until now and what it is today, but who is guessing what art could become tomorrow? I would like to dismantle everything that you see in this property and uh, next week just change everything and make new works for the pleasure of change. Change is life. The stable state is death.